Hello everyone, my name is Robert Meekin. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Business Projectors at Sony. And today I'd like to introduce you to two new models that we introduced last month. This is the VPL PHZ50 and the PHZ60. This is 5000 lumens WUXGA resolution and this is 6000 lumens WUXGA. So the first thing I want to point out, if we look at this model here, you should all be familiar with this. This is the PHZ12, which we introduced at the beginning of this year, and we've sold a lot of these because of your success. So the PHZ50 will replace this model. So the first thing I want to point out is that we've reduced the chassis size, almost 30%. Optical engine, a little smaller, 0.64 panel size, but same quality, same color accuracy, same contrast. Everything is just the same, just that we've been able to reduce the size. I also like to point out a model that we introduced about six months ago. This is the CWZ10, which is 5000 lumen WXGA resolution. And as you can see, it's even smaller it's 40% less than the PHZ12. But again, this is 5000 lumen WXGA resolution model, and we're doing very well with this model in the market. So let me turn this one around. Let me show you the inputs and outputs. So if we go from here, audio in, audio out. We have two HDMI uh, outputs. We have R, uh, RGB and uh, video composite, and we have two USB ports. One is for service-related issues, so firmware updates and everything, very easy to update the projector. The other one uh, provides power, 5-watt power, and that is so you can use any mirroring device, USB mirroring device, uh, and then plug into the HDMI. So that's a new feature within the PHZ50 and 60. And then we have two RJ45, one for control and one for HD base T which is a good feature, and then RS-232 control. So all the panel uh, inputs and outputs that you expect from this type of product in the market. The other thing I want to point out, and this was uh, a lot of your feedback, is that the PHZ12 had only a throw ratio of 1.28 to 1.88. So the, the throw ratio wasn't as large as we were hoping. But with the pitch set 50 and the 60, we can now go to 1.23 to 1.97. So we've increased the throw ratio. This was one of the things that a lot of you said about the PHZ12. So we've, we've, we've enhanced that feature. If I look at the CWZ10, it's worth noticing that the throw ratio on this is 1.29 to 2.07. So a very good throw ratio, a little, little in the uh, push backwards, but equally a very good throw ratio on the 5000 WXGA model. Another feature, and you should be familiar with this, is uh, intelligent setting. So if you remember, uh, we introduced intelligent setting with the FHZ70 and the FHZ75 uh, a couple of years ago. It's a feature that only we are introducing to our projectors. We like to call our projectors the smart projectors. So what it does is, as an installer, when you're installing in either a classroom, a museum, a meeting room, an entertainment, or multi-screen, uh, you have the ability to go into the menu and, and just uh, click on those type of environments. Uh, the technology in the projector will automatically adjust the laser diodes, the panel, and the firmware to optimize the, the color reproduction for that environment. So within classroom, it would be much higher brightness, quality of the um, color reproduction slips a little bit. But then if you then look at museum, then you know that the color accuracy is perfect. They bring the brightness down, so so forth. So the intelligent within the projectors are automatically done. These two models have intelligent setting version two. So it does all of that and also now monitors the usage of the projector. So if this is installed in a classroom or a meeting room, after so many hours, it will look into the firmware and see how many hours it's been used and adjust the laser diodes accordingly. So used in normal conditions in that environment, classroom or meeting room, we can predict or we believe that this projector will last up to seven years without 
uh, reduction of brightness within the market. So that's a game changer with intelligent setting version two. We're confident that this will last up to seven years. And this is, again, this is a feature that only Sony is uh, putting into their projectors. Another feature that we've introduced uh, and first time in the PHZ 15 to 60 is a thing called Bright View. What Brightview does is if you're in, a, again, a classroom or a meeting room or you're in an environment where there's a lot of ambient light, maybe sunlight coming in, and you need to just give it an extra boost of brightness, well, this is what Brightview does. It's a technology that we've developed that we can adjust um, the, the technology, the optical engine, and we just adjust the green panel a little bit and we can then give it a, an extra boost. We do this without changing the color accuracy or the contrast or the depth of field. So we're able to give it a boost, but maintain the quality, maintain the color reproduction and the contrast. It's something that you need to see to believe, but um, it's a very good feature that we've introduced to these two new models. So the last thing I want to point out, and I think you guys may already know this, but I think it's worth pointing out, is that these three models here, the 60, the 50, and the CWZ10, within the laser projector market, um, according to PMA, uh, this is probably the largest market out there. In FY21, they are predicting over 40,000 units to be sold within this category. So we are talking WXGA 5,000 lumen and 5,000, 6,000 lumens WUXGA. So with Sony, you have that step up strategy or step down strategy. So when you're talking to your customers in university, classrooms or meeting rooms in corporate, and they have still lamp projectors, and trust me, there's plenty out there still. This would be the very good competitively priced option for a lamp that will be WXGA 5000 lumens. If they need better resolution, then you step up to the same brightness, but with WUXGA, and if that's not good enough and they need WXGA but brighter, you step up to the 6000 lumen. So that is the strategy uh, with these three products, and this is why we introduced these three um, now. And as I said, it's over 40,000 units are predicted um, to be sold in the market. So thank you very much um, for listening. I hope that you have a chance to see this product. I hope you have a chance to get one of the demos soon. I would personally like to be there in person, but unfortunately I can't. But um, uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions, please contact me or contact your account, uh, Sony Account Sales Manager. So thank you very much.